In this video cheat sheet, we're going to be doing no neighbor shut commands, or uh, that's what we're going to be doing specifically. But basically, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to remove uh, specific neighbor commands from BGP. We're going to start off with some baseline commands of show IP BGP summary to make sure the adjacencies are still down from the last video cheat sheet when we shut down the BGP neighbor adjacencies between 1 and 2 and uh, router 4 and 2. And then we're going to be doing a debug IP BGP on router 2 to watch the events unfold from router 2's perspective. And then we're going to be removing BGP configuration commands and specifically we're going to be doing a no neighbor shut to bring the adjacency back up and then we're going to verify it with a show IP BGP summary. So once again we're going to go on router 1 and router 4 and we're going to do a no neighbor shut essentially removing the neighbor shut command that we put on here in the last video cheat sheet bringing up the neighbor adjacencies between 1 and 2 and R4 and R2. So I'm going to start off with a debug IP BGP on router 2 to get its perspective as these adjacencies come back up go over to router 1 and do show IP BGP summary to ensure that the neighbor adjacency is still down from the last video cheat sheet and as we can see it is it's been down for 41 minutes so I'm going to do a no neighbor and then specify the neighbor and shut down and this is how you remove any neighbor specific configuration let me let me do this first let's let's go here and you can do a no neighbor and then specify the neighbor and these are all the parameters that you can remove and all kinds of things that we've already done where we've set the description you can do a no on the description we've done a next hop self you can do a no on that you can do a no on password for MD5 authentication if you don't want to do neighbor authentication so there's there's a lot of things that you can remove anything that you can put there with a neighbor statement if you do a no neighbor and then the statement it will remove it so that's why I wanted to show you but specifically we're going to remove the no neighbor shutdown command that we put in in the last video cheat sheet. So let me go back and I don't think I had debugging turned on here. But now I'm going to do a show IP BGP summary to see if the adjacency has come up to router 2 and it has and it's been up for 13 seconds now. Okay, so the neighbor adjacency is now up between router 1 and router 2. So that's how you uh, remove a neighbor specific command, in this case the shutdown command. You do no neighbor and then the neighbor IP address and then whatever keyword you want to remove, whether it's shutdown or next top self or um, description. So let's go over to router 4. You know, before we do that, let's go back over to router 2. And as you can see, we have a whole bunch of, of messages about open so we can see that the adjacency is that has come up to router 1 from router 2's perspective so let's go over to router 4 and do a show IP BGP summary and it's still the neighbor adjacency is down from the last video cheat sheet so let's go ahead and bring this neighbor adjacency back up by removing the neighbor command that we put in before Alright, so we should see the neighbor adjacency come back up. I'm going to verify it with the show IP BGP summary command and we see the neighbor came up right there from our console output. Oh, it grabbed too much. Let me go back here and grab this. Show IP BGP summary and as you can see router 4 now has an adjacency to router 2 and it's been up for 19 seconds now. So that is how you remove a BGP configuration command. You do the configuration command. In this case, it was neighbor, the neighbor IP address, and shutdown, and you put a no in front of it. So it would be no neighbor, the neighbor address description, no neighbor, the neighbor address uh, next top self. So you get the idea. So we did a show IP BGP summary to ensure that the neighbor adjacency was still down. We removed the neighbor shut command, and then we did a show IP BGP summary to ensure that the neighbor adjacency came back up.